Hello and good morning everyone, hope you're doing well. Welcome to today's morning mobility routine that I used to help cure my back pain. So this is a follow along video, so let's start by bouncing in place. We're going to do this for 45 seconds. You can take it up to 60 seconds and with this routine, I will be guiding you and I will give you options. I will just say how many reps and how long you should spend in each exercise and the goal point you should be focusing on. But the purpose of this routine is to keep it under 10 minutes. So it should take you anywhere between eight to nine and a half minutes, depending on how many reps you do and how long you spend. So simply just bounce in place, shake everything out, loosen up the arms, loosen the shoulders and the legs. And we're going to begin by doing hip circles. Spend 30 seconds here. We're going to spend 15 seconds going anti-clockwise and 15 seconds clockwise. So making sure your feet are slightly wider than shoulder width apart, keeping your balance centered. And you're just trying to do circular motions with your hips. Make sure you really push the glutes forwards as you're reaching the forward direction. Then we're going to grab our elbows and cross our arms and just simply rotate from side to side, spending 15 to 20 seconds here. Keep our feet and hips nice and square and rotate as much as your body allows you to. Next exercise, we're going to put our hands behind our head and we're going to round forwards and try connect our elbows to our knees. Every time we come up, we try to reach as tall as we can, opening that chest, opening those shoulders as wide as possible, pushing the glutes forwards and keeping the whole entire body engaged. And as we round forwards, our aim is to get our elbows to our knees and keep a slight bend in the knees. We're never going to keep our leg fully straight, but the goal is as the reps go on, we're going to slightly straighten the leg more and more, performing six to eight reps here. Next exercise, we're going to do a deep squat into hamstring reach. Now, every time you extend the legs and reach for the hamstrings, you may get confused by trying to reach for your toes, but do not pull on the toes. This will put extra stress on the back of your knee. Just slightly and gently grab your ankle or the top of your foot and aim to lead the movement with your hips. Imagine somebody is pulling your tailbone up and you're just trying to get the hips up to the sky and go into that squat as deep as you can. Then my favorite exercise of the day, and if I could do only one, I would do this one, the squat and reach. We're going to perform three to five reaches per side. Make sure the hands are on the inside of your legs, pushing your knees as out and as wide as they can go. Then we're going to hold a deep squat position and put our hands together and just hold for five to 10 seconds, really pushing and driving those knees to be as out as possible, feeling a great stretch in our hips. Next exercise, we're gonna go into a downward dog, a short little hold for five to 10 seconds, then raise one leg up, adjust your balance and cross it over. Aim to bring your heel to your opposite hand. So you're gonna raise the right leg up, you're gonna drag it over to your left hand and then you're going to bring it back and then vice versa on the other side. Here is a side view of the exercise. So reach up to the sky, adjust your balance and then cross that leg over. And when you cross it over, imagine to push those hips up to the sky. And you can do this as slow as you need like I said, the goal is to keep it under 10 minutes, but if you do have more than 10 minutes in the morning, then definitely spend some more time just feeling each of these positions. Then we're going to go into a cross-legged sitting position. You're going to reach from your right arm to your left knee and twist to one side, and we're going to hold 10 to 15 seconds each side. So make sure to really look over that shoulder and feel that stretch, keep the chest up to the sky. Imagine like someone is 
pulling you up by your chest so you have a nice upright posture. You should feel this in your lats and going into your lower back, then just holding that cross-legged or lotus position and stretching our neck, spending five to 10 seconds each side. You can spend longer if you desire and just keep that chest up. Make sure you have a good posture in this pose. Then we're gonna go and place our arms behind our hips bring our foot on the outside of our knee. So we're going to bring the left foot on the outside of our right knee, cross our body over, connect our right elbow to our left knee, place our palm on our hip and twist to our left side. This may seem confusing, so hopefully this angle helps explain this position a lot better. Again, keep that chest super upright and use your arm to get a deeper stretch on your glutes and your lower back. Keep the leg that's on the floor as straight as possible and as relaxed as possible and keep your arms straight at all times. Then we're gonna go and lay on the floor. You're going to bring one foot above your knee and then you're going to pull that knee as close to you as possible. And this is called a figure eight stretch so we're going to hold this for 15 to 20 seconds per leg again you can spend longer if you need but you really don't need to spend that much longer and keep your shoulders off the floor and you can get an extra stretch in your lats and your upper traps and this targets the entire posterior chain so you're really trying to pull your knee as close to your chest as possible but then the leg that's externally rotated, you're trying to force that knee to be as outward as possible as well. So you're creating a lot of tension there. And this is a really good stretch to release a lot of tension in the glutes and the hips. Then you're gonna keep a hold of that knee, pull it to your chest, and then simply just twist it to one side while laying down. For an extra stretch, you can try to raise your arm into a 90 degree position and try get it as plush to the floor as possible. Now it's really difficult. So if it's too much, you can just have your arm completely relaxed. Also try to pull that leg all the way to the floor and we're gonna spend 15 to 20 seconds on both sides here. You may find one side is worse than the other and this is to do with your sleeping position as well. We have imbalances from our daily habits, which is extremely normal. And that's why it's super important to work on our mobility and work on our symmetry. So we avoid those imbalances because regardless, they're going to happen. And this is a way around it. And this is how we can avoid getting those pains and niggles and getting really stiff through the day. Then you're going to pull your knees up to your chest and then grab the bottom of your feet and we're gonna go into a happy baby position. Hold this, try to have your knees as wide as possible. And then if you can, you can try to straighten your legs. Now try not to round that back too much and get the whole back to go off the floor. If you can't quite straighten the knees, that's completely okay. Just do what you can. We're gonna do three to five reps here. Some days you might be too sore if you train legs the day before or anything like that. So maybe just don't straighten the legs and just hold a happy baby position. And each rep as you go on, you may feel like you're opening out so you can even go wider and wider. Then we're gonna relax, place our feet on the ground, roll forwards, support yourself, help yourself up however you need. And then we're gonna go into a hamstring stretch. The goal is to get your chest as close to your knees as possible while keeping the legs as straight as possible. So again, imagine someone's pulling you up by the tailbone, keeping the hips as tall and as stacked as possible. And then you wanna try and keep your back as straight as possible. If you are more advanced, you wanna pull yourself in deeper, you may, but don't rush it, do what you can. And that's the mobility routine. Now do this every day and hopefully it helps cure your back pain. 